Clubhouse, the next social media app. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And yes, I have seen my Instagram DMs and I have seen that a lot of you are very hyped and interested about knowing more about Clubhouse. So in this video, I'll give you the entire walkthrough of what Clubhouse is, should you be worried about missing it out and what the interface is, what you can do inside it and everything that you should know or you are looking to know about Clubhouse, the next social media app. This tag of the next social media app is being given to the Clubhouse, but how valid is this tag? That's what you are going to judge and decide. And we're gonna see that this is the app which is very new in the market and it has a lot of potential to discuss and we are gonna talk about all of it. So don't worry on that part. First, let's see that what this app is and what you should expect from it. In order to understand about what Clubhouse is, just imagine a scenario where a very famous and renowned podcaster, Mr. Joe Rogan, is sitting somewhere along with your favorite celebrity, probably Bill Gates or Elon Musk or anywhere else. And you get a chance to listen to their conversation live. That is happening live and you can just sit quietly there and listen to that conversation. You also have the ability to raise your hand and ask questions in that conversation. And these people are gonna answer your question. It sounds really cool and that's exactly what the Clubhouse is providing. The next level podcast experience. I am pretty sure that you have heard about these scenes in the Hollywood movie where people sit in the circle on the chairs and they talk about the past experience or something. Some of them raise their hands to share their experience. Some of them just say, pass it on, I'm not yet ready to share. This is kind of a very same situation and same kind of experience that Clubhouse is trying to give it to you, but via online. So you can say it's a little bit on the steroid and it's a very next level experience that you are gonna feel. So yes, you guessed it right, it's an just an audio-based platform where you have to just listen to people or just have to contribute via audio. There is no such thing as video, there's no such thing as photos, and that's basically your clubhouse. Intention. Let's go ahead and talk about the intention behind this app. Obviously, the intentions are really, really amazing. They are very noble. The app just simply is designed on an idea that we don't need photos to fake our lifestyle just like on Instagram. We don't need videos to buy these expensive camera gadgets to just look decent on the videos. It can be just simply an audio-based platform where people can join in, have the conversation with like-minded people, and that's pretty much it. And that's always the intention when, uh, when any social media app is created. But I'll come back onto this intention point in the later half of the video so that you can understand more about it. Because this conversation is not yet over on the intention topic. Let's come back onto this little later. Invite only, that's the biggest hurdle of getting into this app. Right now this app is just invite only, just like how Facebook got started in its early days. Just invite only. On top of that, the app is currently now ready only on the iOS world, so iPhone users only. It surely is going to come on to the Android world as well. Now here is the one thing that you need to understand. This is a social media app. Right now it's giving you the FOMO, the fear of missing out, but it's a social media app. Social platform work via socialization from the people. So it's not gonna just leave you behind. There is no chance of it. Any platform which is designed and governed by the people itself is never gonna deny people. So obviously you are going to get a chance of getting on board here. Just like Twitter did in the early days, he tried to brought in all the celebrities and all these big short names into the platform so that all the followers can join in. That's exactly what's happening at the clubhouse right now. Fear of missing out, iPhone only, and only invite base so that you can bring in your fans and bringing in all the big names so that automatically it gives a vibe, a hype over the social media. Now let's go ahead and talk about the interface itself. As soon as you're going to sign up into this app, you're gonna see that it's immaculate. Couldn't be much more cleaner than this interface. You sign up, it's gonna ask you the regular sign up stuff, and then it's gonna ask you some of the interests that you have to choose on. Based on your interest, it's automatically going to follow some of the people uh, on this platform, and it's going to make your home screen based on the recommendation and the topics that you have looked up for. It's gonna show you some of the rooms which you can join in. On the very home screen, you can see the concept that is pretty clear to it that you have a lot of rooms. You can join in into any room and listen to the conversation. When you join in into any room, of course, audio only, you have two options there. You can just quietly listen to the things and just leave quietly. 
nothing gained or nothing lost there. The another second option is if the context or the conversation that you're seeing is interesting to you, you can just go ahead, listen to it more, and then you have the button to raise your hand. As soon as you raise your hand, you get into the queue where the host or the moderator of the room will allow you to speak when your turn comes in. And you can just simply ask questions or contribute something more to the conversation. And that's basically it. Another aspect of this app is the calendar, which you're going to see at the very top of the application. There is a calendar button where you can see all the upcoming rooms or the conversation that are about to be created on some given time in the future. And you can just chime in into those room and can see if this is the conversation I want to be a part of it or not. I found it really, really interesting that one. On the home screen, apart from all the rooms that you're having, you're also going to see that there is a glance summary of the things that are going on right now. But the button that you'll be seeing most of the people using is start a room. When you start a room, obviously you get your privacy settings and there are basically three settings that you can work on with. The first one is simply open public rooms that anybody can join in. The second one is simply the social where people can just join in if they are connected or following you. And then the third one is closed where you have to bring in the people and then simply just go ahead and start the conversation. And obviously, just like any other application, you're going to see the search bar at the top as well. When you click on the search, you're going to see that there are a lot of interests that you can choose on based on your faith, technology, or anything that sounds interesting to you. I tried searching for some people as well and found out that, hey, let's just check out if MKBHD is here or not, because obviously he's the guy who is going to be trying to kill off into the audio as well. And let's see if he somehow just overkills in the audio quality as well. And obviously MKBHD is here with 21K followers. Then I heard in a lot of news that Mr. Zuckerberg is also interested in this platform. I have looked on it. So I jumped onto that and saw that, yeah, this guy is also here. But the most interesting part is that he's having 496K followers. Now this brings a very interesting conversation here that if the app is just invite only and there are so many people following up here, Obviously, you don't have to worry about because a lot of people are getting in now and the app is getting scaled up and you're going to get in. So don't worry on that part. Now, when you join into any room, there are obviously community guidelines here to not to be bully and other kind of stuff. What is the most interesting that I found about reading these guidelines is I hope you have noticed it already that all these community guidelines are actually notion pages. And that's a very interesting kind of a concept that they have built up that using notion pages for all these community guidelines, terms and condition. I found this use case very, very interesting. So this is the brief overview of what this clubhouse app is. But now let's bring us the most important and the serious question is how this app is going to do business because we cannot just do the same mistake again and again. We need to ask stronger and harder question right from the beginning when the social media app is coming up. I have been into the phase where I've seen a lot of evolution of the social media app from MySpace to Orkut to Google Plus, Google Meet, and then Facebook and Twitter and a bunch of others as well. The most important question is how you're planning to do business. Obviously, you cannot just survive based on the fundings and the charity. That's what not your plan is. So how you're going to do business? Are you going to just bring in the user and later on serve the ad? And are you planning to sell the information to advertisers? Or you're planning to make some room onto paid concept and just take a cut from it? So how are you going to make the money? That is the most important question that we should all be asking right now. Because crying out later on, just like what we have been doing on the platforms like Facebook and advertisement on YouTube, it doesn't make sense crying out afterwards. We need to ask important questions before getting on the platform. And why am I too much worried about asking for the business model at the first that how you're going to make money? Because it's an audio only platform. And that is the biggest, biggest great point as well as the biggest worrying point. We've already seen the demos from the Adobe that how easily they can manipulate any voice. They have been onto the stage in the public. They want his wife to go before the dogs. So, OK, so what do we do easily? Copy, paste. Let's do it. Copy, paste. Oh, yeah, it's done. Let's listen to it. And uh, uh, I kissed my wife and my wife. Oops. And we're able to analyze the voices and able to just mimic those voices just by typing. That was a great and fantastic demo if you haven't seen that from Adobe. And this is an audio platform. 
what is going to stop anybody from using tools like that? Coming back onto the same point which I left hanging around, intention. Every social media platform, when it gets started, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, they have all this noble intention. But how the platform is treated by the people, that is the biggest question that everybody should be worried about. Facebook never thought that its group feature is going to be used by some terrorist group for passing on the information. Twitter never thought that its platform is going to become so much toxic with the trolls and the kind of people that bully around. What's going to happen with this clubhouse? how this is going to take that, how the conversation is being modified, how they are going to stop the trolls. And if something goes bad, how they are going to make sure that they are following the laws. Are they storing my audios or not? How this platform is going to work on in bullies, stopping the bullies, stopping the trolls. And if somebody is kind of misidentified as a troll or bully, then how? what is the procedure of making sure that his account is re-instantiated? That's, that's a big question. And these all conversation and these are hard questions can easily be answered once we get a clear idea of how this app is trying to make money. What is actually the business model? Is it advertisement driven? Is it basically selling product or some services into the paid model? What is it? I know these are all very vague questions, some of them are really tough one, but we should be really tough on the social media right now because that is how we are going to create a better and the cleaner version of internet and especially the social media. Now, eventually, you're going to see a lot of tutorials on the YouTube about this Clubhouse app, including how to make money, which is going to be the most popular one, how to make money on the Clubhouse, how to hack into the invite only, a lot of hacks and audio upgrade and how to grow on Clubhouse. These are going to be some of the interesting topic that eventually are going to flood on YouTube as well. I'm really excited to try out more on the Clubhouse and it's really, really interesting to, some, to be in some of the conversation. Some of them are really, really boring, but some of them are really amazing. And since you have spent so much time on this video, yes, I have been using this app uh, for a while. And last night I had a great uh, conversation in the chat room where I was talking uh, with a lot of people, basically listening more, not just talking. And the talk was on about the Libra and how Facebook is using that cryptocurrency, how many teams are working in that. Then the conversation somehow went into the Google uh, area and we talk, and those guys talked a lot about how the AI is moving ahead and and transcribing text to speech and a whole bunch of other things. So that was interesting conversation. And after that, I tried to look for more tech conversation. Nothing, just random people singing or some people abusing each other. Yeah, that's what I found mostly. But I'm going to see that when more people join up, how this app is going to behave. Till then, I'm going to just keep on trying it on random days. Okay, so quite a long video and this is all what I wanted to share and that is what all you probably might be wanting to know about the clubhouse and that's pretty much it. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I'm going to bring more such awesome videos for you. So hitting that subscribe button is really, really going to be awesome. So go ahead and let's catch up in the next video. It got me stone cold.